Braunston Blues project will help to ease the pressure on the police, fire and ambulance service by getting youngsters involved in all kinds of activities. Emily Anderson reports. Hold it nice and high, swing it gently and then just flick it. Perfect. Not much beats the peace and tranquility of sitting by a lake waiting for a catch. So what's fishing got to do with the emergency services? Well, this is just one of many sessions being held in Braunston to get young people off the streets this summer and out of trouble. The success we've had so far has been fantastic. We've even caught some fish today, which is even better. Young people who haven't fished before or used this before and yet live in Braunston come in here to be involved in their community. And we hope to widen uh, perhaps their in, in interest in the environment around here, the litter. Uh, you don't want to be setting fires around the lake because they will care about the lake. They will care about coming here. The Braunston Blues team is made up of staff from all three emergency services. The aim is to reduce demand for the 999 service from people living in Braunston. They give advice to people about things like child safety, fire safety and home security. Research by the emergency services has found that Braunston generates the highest number of 999 calls in Leicestershire and Rutland. On average, 8,000 calls are made from this area alone. And that's just in one year. It amounts to at least 20 calls a day from this estate, which is why the fishing club is so important. It was set up by local councillor Elaine Halford. It's about conservation. It's about taking care of the environment. So uh, it's not just about fishing. It's about getting them out, mixing with other children. Really enjoyable, um, exciting, because... Um, I love fishing. The Braunston Blues team say they hope their work will help make this estate a healthy, safe and secure neighbourhood. Emily Anderson, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.